Ah, the truth about coffee. So, coffee is one of the best drinks that you can actually have. Ah, it's not the best. Oh, I like to have it. So the best time to have a coffee is as soon as you wake up. You know, some people say wait half an hour. Actually, you can go suck it. Yeah. Bloody oh. Beautiful coffee. Oh, yeah. And the best coffee is instant with uh, honey. I don't have honey in this because I'm very sad. <laughs> Please, someone buy me honey. I need, I'm very poor. Please buy me honey. Mm. Cat screaming in the background because the cat's going, No, yeah, give me my honey. Give me my honey or else I'll, fall. I'll scratch you. Yeah, you want to scratch? You bloody yo. So coffee's been around for a few hundred years and it is something you should try. If you're allergic to coffee, oh, I feel so sad for you. Having to drink butt water all the time. Yeah. Oh, it's just really not the same. And tea. Well, tea's okay as long as it has milk and sugar. Yes, I am white. And that's white people do put milk and sugar in their coffee. Although, I like, um, Borle. I don't know the English name. I just know the Cantonese name, Borle. It tastes like bloody dirt. It's like getting hot. You put a tea bag in the hot water, go out to the garden, get the scoop, scoop it up, chuck it in the cook tea. And that's what it tastes like. It tastes like bloody dirt. I actually quite like it. Very, very interesting. Uh, but, you know, when you look at it, you look at the tea leaves, it just looks like fungus. Or, or, oh, you know how you got skid marks on your undies? You know, it looks like that. It's like, ooh, this looks like skid marks. What have you been doing all day? I don't know. Maybe you should have brought some toilet paper. Then I wouldn't have had to use my undies. Anyway, uh, there's a cat screaming in the background. So maybe I should do something about it. Hey kitty kitty. Yeah. Some of you are going, oh you what what are you doing? You can't hit a cat like that. Nah, I wouldn't actually hit my cat. If you actually fought that, then uh maybe next thing your fingers go, I'm gonna turn the oven on. Yeah. Mm. So come here cat. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is kitty. This is Mau Mau. Mau Mau just means cat cat in Cantonese. Hello Mau Mau. Mm. Wow. Well doesn't she look cute? She looks totally she's fattened up enough that you can fit in the oven now. Oh, I'm just joking. I wouldn't do that to you. See, she's a very affectionate cat. She likes cuddles. So, if I put her on my lap, that should stop her from uh, screaming. Anyway, or maybe I could colour her in. Which colour would she look better? I don't know. Which colour suits you, Mel Mel? Uh, I think the blue. Anyway, that, that's my little rant. So, what is the best place to get coffee? Uh, when I go out, the only coffee I drink is mocha. Because, you know, I don't really like chocolate by itself. But when it's put with coffee, it's actually quite nice. Mm -mm -mm. So buy mocha because you're not really tasting the coffee, which are, is pretty bitter. Just like me. Very bitter. Very bitter person. Someone who, uh, oh, really? It, it's like someone put a strap on on and, you know, rammed it up my ass quite a few times and now I'm just sore. And I really, 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 ah, uh, I'm just bleeding all the time. That, that's just, that's just me. Beautiful. And now, I've turned into a four-eyed person because, you know, when I get close to things, I can't read it. Basically, glasses, the bane of society. 
you know, these are designed, when you put them on, they screw up your eyes, and then you have to wear them for the rest of your life, because uh, you turn blind like a bat, except you don't have echolocation. So, yeah, so coffee, I'm getting off topic, coffee, ooh, there is a person from Hong Kong called Coffee Lam, anyway, that's not a real name, Lam Kai Kai, India baby. So, ah, that's right, when I go to Hong Kong, they have a concoction called Yin Yang, and that is coffee and tea, but it's not just any coffee and tea, it's certain types, of, I don't know what type of coffee it is, or what type of tea, and they mix it in together, and I think they put condensed milk in it, and it's just really, really nice, I like it, Yin Yang. And cafe, which is coffee, light ta, which is milk tea, then you just got ta, and you got lots of different types of chai tea. Most common is jasmine tea, which you get at yum ta. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. So, drinking coffee brightens up your life. I just drink it because I don't want to drink water all the time. It's just <laughs> like when it's a hot day and you're thirsty yet yeah, you drink water. That's how you hydrate. Not those energy drinks. Don't drink that. Then you probably have like I just have a maximum of two coffees a day. Most times it's just one in the morning and the rest of the day if I'm at work it's just water. 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 Uh, not soft drink, don't drink any soft drink during the day, or anything like that, it's just those two. Anyway, if I get a chance, I drink a coffee. So, how I like coffee, so this one today, it's got brown sugar, uh, it's got international roast coffee, it's got just normal milk, full cream, as well as oat milk. Put those two together, it actually tastes a lot better. But generally, I don't put brown sugar in it because we ran out of honey. If that, I'll put like one, one and a half teaspoons of honey. It's actually quite nice. At the start, it's a quiet taste, but you get used to it. You don't go around and say, I want my honey, I want my honey. And what I personally don't like is that that ground up coffee, instant coffee, is better. So you go to a coffee shop, you get what's it, long black, long white, long John, whatever, and you're like, what the hell is that? That tastes like I sucked the crap out of the toilet. Beautiful. And then you just want to. Get the scissors and slit your throat because you just uh, have had enough of it. So, uh, anyway, get some staples, staple your teeth together. Don't be a very rude person like me. I'm very rude. And this cat has got comfortable. Just remember, to a cat, you're just a pillow. That's all you are. Giant can opener but also pillar. Anyway, I ran out of things to talk about. Bye.